A grounded space shuttle is no easy baby to move. And this operation at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California was the first indication to the public that the space shuttle program is expanding. Now the United States Air Force is about to introduce its own space shuttle. Not one, but a regular series of launches from these new facilities far from Florida. So that in theory at least, we could have two shuttles in orbit next year. And as an indication of how much the space shuttle is becoming a part of everyday life, these facilities could handle up to 10 launchings a year. Shuttles launched from Cape Canaveral in Florida up to now have orbited the Earth's equator. Now the shuttles launched from this opposite side of the United States will orbit the poles. Their payload will include military equipment, details of which are secret, but there'll also be room for space-bound commercial cargo. The price the Air Force must pay for entering the shuttle business is not cheap. Our uh, total construction costs uh, are about $500 million, and the total investment here is about $2.5 billion. Today's introduction to the world of this second space shuttle launch site would indicate that any argument about whether shuttles are the best method of carrying items into space is dead on the pad. At Vandenberg, California, 